Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Um, today we are going to start uh, a set of uh, tutorials about working with tables uh, such as uh, Excel tables or CSV files. So you know uh, if you are here that uh, this is um, a very important thing nowadays because a lot of information, data you are pro you are need to process in table view every day or maybe almost every day. So let's start. I have prepared a simple table. Uh, you can uh, see it on the screen. Uh, it uh, looks in this way. It's a um, very simple table, contains few rows, few columns. So uh, let's start. What uh, do we need to uh, use uh, firstly? It, um, we need to open this file. Drag and drop this action. Uh, we need to open it. So uh, select this option. Uh, and we need to specify the path to our Excel file. Uh, desktop, Excel. So that's all. Uh, let's uh, make the instance visible for the testing now, for the testing purposes. But um, usually it's uh, not important at all. So uh, this option is uh, required uh, only when uh, you are using some really attended automation. So the next thing uh, is, okay, that's all is fine. Where will produce, okay, fine, okay, save. And the next thing we need to be sure that file, our file will be closed at the end of the processing. So uh, drag and drop close Excel action. And uh, do not save document because we are going. We are not going to uh, write any changes there. So save. So now good. Uh, the next step. Let's um, try to read this file. Uh, so drag and drop this action. Read from Excel worksheet. So uh, we have multiple op options here. Uh, let's start from the, the first one, uh, the value of single cell. The next, uh, we have a few parameters uh, uh, which we need to fill in. So let's see. Uh, our uh, table have uh, multiple columns and rows and uh, you want to, uh, let's imagine, you want to read this cell. What do you need to do? You need to specify column number two and the row number three. Go here, column number two, row number three. And uh, we don't need to turn this option on. Excel data, save. Nice. And uh, let's display the result. Move the display message here. And let's uh, insert the value, Excel data. And uh, we don't need to produce any, uh, any variables here. Save and uh, run. Yeah, so we got the required result. Okay, nice. So, but what uh, we need to do if you want to read the wall table, like this one, what we need to do? Uh, we need to change uh, option, retrieve what we need to retrieve. We need to retrieve uh, values from a range of cells. Okay, nice. Start com, um, and we want to read wall table wall table means from a1 to d6 uh, we need to specify the start column one start row one and column uh, number four and the end row and it's uh, number six okay number six advanced uh let's keep it for now variable produced excel data nice uh let's put it here uh, let's display uh the output result uh we need to, to use 
action uh, from the loops tab um, for each. We're going to loop each by um, each row by row value to iterate Excel data current item and the name is fine okay save the next step what we need to do uh, we need we're going to use the display message action so we can use this one but we need to do something like so each row will be read row uh, by row so we need to specify that we want to display this cell this cell this cell this cell then this cell this cell this cell and so on and so forth and uh, up to the end of the table so what we need to do uh, we are going to use the indexes indexing of that uh, row of the value in the row so uh, let's insert current item yes and we need to specify the index of the uh, cell in the row. So um, we need to do it in the square brackets after the variable name. Let's use the separate separator. Uh, let's rename it like one, two, three. It's actually it's really uh, strange because um start row and end row we are going uh, to specify from the uh digit num from the digit one but here we need to specify indexing uh starts from zero like a traditional uh programming so okay fine um, let's check it Let, let's decrease the delay between actions run So as, as you see, bot started to read this table from the first row. But what we need to do if we want to start from here and we want uh, to specify the to use the headers as uh, not uh, the digit is not the indexing, but we want to specify like we want to display a value from this cell by this header because uh, in this case the table is always the same but you can receive table which will contain like multiple columns and this um, position of these columns may be different and you want to use these uh, markers these headers at the uh, index of the uh, cell of the required cell in the row so uh, open this read from excel worksheet and uh, open this advanced tab and you need to turn on this option first line of range contains column names turn it on and save and now what we need to do we need to put here with uh, um, uh, all this uh, we need to change all these digits to the names of the columns so let's uh, say we need to do it in the uh, quotes, single quotes. First one is the number. The second one is the name. The third one is the surname. And the last one is the age. And don't forget the single quotes. Nice, nice, looks good. Okay, let's try. Yeah, so and we are so bot knows that uh, the first line is our uh, the first line of our table, is the header of the columns. So bot knows which value exactly you would like to re retrieve. Okay, fine. Um, but we have another option here which named its uh, values from selection okay uh, let's do it in this way but what actually this means values from selection okay click on uh, save okay nice 
And for example, uh, go here, launch Excel, make instance visible. So during uh, the while uh, the bot reads uh, retrieves data from the Excel files, uh, the Excel window will be opened. So let's close this one. And what we need to do? Uh, we need to add something like a message to display to pause our bot, our flow. Type here something like message to display. For example, let's uh, name it, uh, let's give it a text something like have uh, range been selected and the question button but save okay nice okay uh, keep and we don't need to uh, we're not interested in producing any variables so let's start So uh, bot opens our table and what we need to do, we need to select the uh, required range. For example, this table uh, may be more longer, but you are not interested to work with all data in this table. So you can uh, choose like in this way, just a few uh, rows and then you're clicking on OK. And that's also bot knows uh, which range uh, have been selected by you and bot reads only this range. So it's very useful for the attended automation. It's not so, so useful for the unattended, but for attended, uh, it's very helpful sometimes, but it depends on your tasks and what you want to do actually. So. Thank you for your attention and uh, do your best. Bye-bye, friends.